remember an election, that it wasn't really about the economy. Perhaps 2004 was a bit about Iraq and, not, and about terrorism and not just about the economy. But usually in the United States, you know, James Carville, uh, Bill Clinton's campaign manager, was famous for having a sign up in the war room um, saying, you know, it's the economy, stupid. And so I think this election is that way too. Obviously, we haven't recovered fully from the 2008 economic downturn. Um, unemployment is still much higher um, than anyone would like it to be, um, you know, in the high 7%, near 8%. Um, so people are worried. Um, people are worried about their jobs. People are worried about the lives their, children's, their children are going to lead. Um, there's a worry about sort of the globalization of the economy, uh, the thought that jobs are quote unquote being shipped overseas, um, whether that's true or not. Um, so that's a concern um, of voters. But mostly it's about the economy and it's about jobs. Now in that context, I think one of the most important issues, at least in Ohio in this election, um, will be automobile jobs. And the fact that General Motors um, almost went out of business um, back in 2009. Um, they did go through bankruptcy, but it was a very different bankruptcy than they would have gone through if the federal government had not bailed out General Motors, um, which it does, beginning with George W. Bush, actually, uh, before he leaves the White House and continued by Barack Obama. I mean, this presidential election it will be interesting because Mitt Romney, the Republican nominee, opposed the auto bailout. And that may play very poorly for him um, in the important swing state of Ohio.